Hello and welcome to Veracity's Tips and Tricks series. We will see how we can build a report using custom SQL. The first step is to create a data server connection. So we will open the welcome page of IBM Cognitive Analytics. Select Manage tab at the left pane of IBM Cognitive Analytics and create a data server connection by clicking on data server connection. Now add a data server and I will select Microsoft SQL Server. Under General tab, we'll give a name to the data server connection as sample data. And under settings, we will select prompt for the user ID and password and we'll define the JDBC URL. So, uh, host name will be uh, IBM Demos. Database name will be uh, GoSales. This name will be uh, XQL Express. So in the JDBC URL, we have defined the host name as IBM Demos, database name as GoSales, and the instance name as XQL Express. Now I will test and I will provide the credentials on it. So as we can see, the test has been successful and I will click on save. Now I will click on the schema tab. The schema tab, we can see that the list of schemas that exist within the database will be displayed. So I will select the go sales schema and I will load the metadata. So this will load the metadata of the of all the tables within the schema in the data server. So the status with green text indicates the successful loading of metadata and load information depicts the number of tables that has been loaded at data server with respect to schemas. I will close the data server connection. Now the second step will be to create a data module. I click on new tab and I will select data module. Select the data server as the source for the data module. Select sample data, click on go sales and click OK. Click on select tables and click on next. Now we can select one or multiple tables from the left pane by selecting the checkboxes. So I will select order details and click OK. So now a new data module has been created. Now right click on the new data module and select the table using XQL. Now we will provide a name to the table name. So I will type top. Then order and provide the expression also, XQL expression and SQL type we have to define as native SQL. Now we will validate by clicking on the preview button.
and click OK. So I'll just make a small changes over here as I will define the properties as identifier for the product number. And now I will save the data module into my team printer folder by clicking on save. I will define a name for my new data module as sample to sales module. And we'll store into my sample. Again, we'll go to the welcome page. So now the third step is to create a report using the table which has been created using XQL. So I click on new, create a report. Okay. And select the source cell. So we will select the source cell which we have saved into our sample folder as samples go sales module click on open i uh, will select a list okay and we will just drag the data into our list report go into the run button and run as html Here we can see the data within the table has been created. And thank you for watching this video.